So you've made your mask and your requester wants elastic. So what do you do? In the project, we are using six to eight mil cord elastic um, and we are not threading it around the ears, it goes around the back of the head. So the average size, the average cut size on our elastic is 80 centimeters. Um, it depends on the elasticity of the elastic that you're using, but that, that measurement seems to work for most people. What you wanna do is to use <clears throat> something like a safety pin or um, a woolen needle or, or even a, um, a length of wire that you, you, you fold over in half and twist it to get a little eye looper that you can use to thread, thread through your side ears, okay? So you just hook it on the end of your elastic, thread it down through one, up through the other, so it looks like this, and you wanna join it in the middle. Um, I, you can use a, a zigzag stitch or you can go over and back with um, the, the straight stitch. Um, and then what, what I like to do to finish it is I, I pull it into the center of the mask and then I, I stay stitch it on, on the inside here, on one side, so that it's still free to, to move. And I'm just gonna join it here now while I'm... put the stay stitches in. This is just to finish the mask, like so. Only on one side. And the wearer can unpick it and, and undo the stitching if it doesn't suit them, but if it, it fits for most. So hope that explains the elastic.